So hi guys, uh, welcome to Seaport. This time it's gonna be not so much what to do, but there's been a change in Seaport that I haven't been aware of myself until today actually. And then I realized how big of a patch, how, how big of a difference it was, but it's been hidden from me for a while. And that's what happened when uh, when you don't read the patch note fully and it's this one line here it is it's on September 27th that's been uh, that's been like four days three days three four days by now and this one line here we have boost the overall capacity of ships didn't say how much didn't say uh, in detail just the one line and me is usually clicking on these updates. Like, oh, this guy. Oh no, new more new missions. This is NPC, Sir Francis Drake. Okay, great. And I just figure all these are just talking about more about that stuff. I'll oh, kind of a uh, small reward, uh, a ship that you don't really use anyways. But and you finish this, or maybe like oh, ten gems and you know, two new ships. Like see, so easy. Just miss that one line. It turns out this one line is pretty important because. I went back to read it afterwards, but what really caught me a little bit off guard was when a ship that I've always known to carry 25 cargo now carry 28, and I was like, "That that's, I this can't be this, this I I was sure that wasn't 28 before," and I opened this a uh, Excel sheet I I keep track and. Surely enough, they changed it from 25 to 28. And that's that's led me to dig through the news to find out they did change something. But they didn't they didn't change they didn't say how much they're gonna change. And I decided to go through the ship and just compare to the ones I have and uh, now versus before. And to sum it up, uh, I went from somewhere between the range of 760 cargo oh it just oh, totally messed up on me <laughs> oh I guess we're not getting that so it on the on the map menu usually if it's not like this it will show there's uh, my fleet my current fleet will have 760 ish cargo space so that's that's pretty good uh, but now it's after some tweaking just sending ships that are actually uh, higher than what I have before I can bring it to a maximum of 833 that's an 8% increase now I think the game frozen by now but I'll just keep talking because that's not important now if, if you still see here I'm still upgrading this uh, main dock and that lets me put another ship out into my active fleet and by this uh, by by doing this when I actually finish in like uh, in a day I would get roughly a three percent increase in terms of my fleet cargo capacity but this one change this one line I, I shown you before oh just increase the uh, cargo space increase like nine eight nine or ten percent I guess if you're in the high levels like roughly around the level hundreds uh, place I think at least around 80 and the reason for that is the lower level ships I've noticed they haven't really changed their cargo capacity but the ones at the higher level that can carry those of the higher level ships that you can buy af after certain level those increase in cargo space uh, capacity by quite a bit some increase by five some other increase by like uh, four or three that just means that your previous upgrades uh, just increase one or two more cargo there that's to me that increase like 70 cargo that's a, that's a good three four ships for me but just upgrading this is there's one more ship after you know I finally get another ship out of the fleet. This one tiny change. So what I'm saying is, 
check your uh, ship in your fleet that you have on the seas and the ones that are not in your fleet. Some of them might have increased their cargo capacity that you might want to take them out again and put someone, uh, not someone, but but one of your current ships into the, in your, I guess, reserve fleet because they're better. Now, I think that's that, uh, that advice will apply more to if you're around a level 100, maybe, maybe begin at 80. I'm not totally sure. But I think that's where the changes of these ships comes from. They are around those levels and not at the lower levels. So do check. If you benefited from this, do tell. I think most of the benefits are passive as there are already ships you have. Um, but if there are, in some case, there are ships that are better than the ones you have right uh, on the high seas, then then it's a good time to switch it up. It's a it's a free bonus, if you will. I'm 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 just a little bit taken aback simply because this one line of change. It's basically three more ships on the high seas for me. That's 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 ludicrous to some degrees. But I do understand. I think the the development team sees that all these new ships are basically very very similar they give you almost no marginal benefit and nobody's buying them or they actually have uh, increased it more cargo space uh, as they develop the games at the higher level then they then they start to scale things up scaling things up is easier than scaling things down and uh, i think there might be these events slowly as they make more and more content for the game later on so those are that's but that's going to be rare maybe once every year or something but events like this it's nice to keep to know what happens because they do give you quite a boost if you're in the right levels thank you if you like it like it if you have a comment to say uh, always feel free to do that i appreciate all comments especially uh, criticisms of anything and have a nice day until next time.